Yahushua spoke in parables for a reason. And I think we have to understand that the parables are what we call as sayings that we use today. Um, And I believe that when people focus only on the words being said instead of um, the explanation of the parables or the reason for the parable um, it's kind of the same way when you look at the world and you don't understand it in a spiritual sense you look at it with um, like a filter in front of your eyes now your spiritual eyes takes away that filter that filter is the distraction of everyday life it's still there but it's taken away it's removed because you're able to see the spiritual side of things so that's what I want to relate with these parables okay this one is called that which defiles it's Matthew 15 verses 1 through 20 Then some Pharisees and teachers of the law came to Yahushua from Jerusalem and asked, Why do your disciples break traditions of the elders? They do not wash their hands before they eat, Yahushua replied. And why do you break the command of Yahuwah for the sake of your traditions? For Yahuwah said, Honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses their father or mother is to be put to death. But you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father and mother is devoted to Yahuwah, they are not to honor their father or mother with it. Thus you nullify the word of Yahuwah for the sake of your traditions. You hypocrites! Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. These people honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me they worship me in vain their teaching are merely human rules yahushua called the crowd to him and said listen and understand what goes into someone's mouth does not defile them but what comes out of their mouth that is what defiles them then the disciples came to him and asked do you know that the Pharisees were offended when you when they heard this he replied every plant that my heavenly father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots leave them they are blind guides if the blind lead the blind both will fall into a pit Peter said explain the parable to us are you still dull Yahushua asked them Don't you see that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and then out of the body? But the things that come out of the person's mouth come from the heart. These defile them. For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false testimony, slander. These are what defile a person. But eating with unwashed hands does not defile them. As you heard, um, in this parable, they're talking about washing, washing hands. And, um, you know, he's telling them, you know, you got to look in the spiritual sense. It's what comes out of your mouth, what you say in words that defiles you. Um, because that's coming from your heart. Um, and there's several of these, several of these um, parables that Yahushua says to the people that um, are following him. You know, that explain how people just take it at face value. They think, oh, what defiles means you have to wash your hands. No, it's not about washing your hands. It's about watching what you say because that comes from your heart. Um, I'm going to find a couple more and read them to you. 
Okay, here's one more parable. This is from Matthew 13, verse uh, 47 through 49. Uh, Once again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish. When it was full, the fishermen pulled it up on the shore. Then they sat down and collected the good fish in the baskets, but threw the bad ones away. This is how it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come and separate the wicked from the righteous. In Matthew 13, 13, um, it says, This is why I speak to them in parables. Though seeing, they do not see. Though hearing, they do not hear or understand. In them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. You will be ever hearing, but never understanding. You will be ever seeing, but never perceiving. For this people's hearts has become closed. They hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Now in this, in this uh, um, verse, um, it's basically telling us that people have closed their eyes because they don't see. The seeing part is the spiritual part. You know, the hearing part is a spiritual part. When you are distracted with your daily life, your family, your friends, the things of society, the your work, um, all these things are the filter that go in front of your spiritual eyes. And until you're able to remove that ref- filter to see behind behind it you'll never know the real truth where spirituality is everywhere the spiritual world the spiritual realm is everywhere around us Um, I did a video a while back about how we came across angels and demons you know and it was real you could see it I saw it I know I saw it and I know my husband saw it. We felt it. We felt it in our spirit. We felt the energies shift. It was as though the angel energy was light and airy and kind and sweet. And then the demon one was very um, hard, stiff, and, um, you know, like angry and... uh, annoyed, irritated, you know, all these things are of Satan. Um, That's what it felt. That's what it felt like. And you could see it in people's eyes, the way when they look, look at you. You know, there's a reason why they say the eyes are the soul, are are, are the paths to the soul. Um, You can, you can see it. You can see it and sense it and feel it. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to say about this. Um, A lot of the times you just have to remove that filter in front of your eyes so that it'll help you clearly see. And it's the filter, it's slightly blurred if you can, if you can uh, understand that point. The filter, you can still see the world but it's slightly blurred. The slightly blur is the distractions of the world, in society, in life, in everything. You know, the things that make us worry, the things that keep us scared and not trusting in Abba Yahuwah. But when we take off that little bit of filter of the blurriness, then we're able to see more clearly and understand more spiritually. Okay, that's all I wanna say for this video. May you all be blessed.